Hello guys, in this lecture we will take a general 2D stress system and we will find out the stresses on an inclined plane. We have plane AB, BC and an inclined plane AC. Okay, and we have general 2D stress system as we have sigma y we have sigma x we have shear stress tau and tau okay and we have to find out the stress sigma theta and we have to find out stress tau theta on the plane ac which is inclined at an angle of theta to the plane ab okay uh, let's start let's first take an reference axis reference axis this is x this is y x is in the direction of tau theta y is in the direction of sigma theta so first of all let's do summation fx equal to 0 before that I must remind you one thing we have to convert these stresses into forces and we can do that by multiplying the stresses by their areas so as I've told earlier we do not need areas of these planes as the areas would get cancelled out so instead of taking the areas we would take the area of plane AC as one and correspondingly we'll have the area of plane AB as cos theta and the area of plane BC as sin theta so the respective forces will be by multiplying by 1 to both of them we will get sigma theta and tau theta then by multiplying sin theta to tau and sigma x on the plane BC we will have tau sin theta and we will have sigma x sin theta and on the plane AB we will have sigma y cos theta and tau cos theta now let's see what are the forces in x direction so one of the forces is tau theta okay then we have sigma y cos theta component in the opposite direction of tau theta okay so let's first of all have our angles this angle will be theta so the sine component of sigma y cos theta will be in the negative direction so this is sigma y cos theta multiplied by sine theta then there is one more component of tau cos theta in x direction that is in positive x direction so it will be plus tau cos theta and the component will have component will be cos theta component okay now we have sigma x sin theta it will also have a component in the direction of tau theta which will be equal to sigma x sin theta cos theta and then we'll have a component of tau sin theta which is equal to minus tau sin theta sin theta okay is equal to zero so we have tau theta is equal to sigma y cos theta sin theta then we have minus sigma x sin theta cos theta then we have minus tau cos square theta plus tau sin square theta so if we take tau common from these two terms will have minus tau cos square theta minus 
sin square theta and if we take sin theta cos theta common from the first two terms we'll have sin theta cos theta sigma y minus sigma x so this sin theta cos theta can be written as sin 2 theta by 2 sigma y minus sigma x and cos square minus sin square theta is cos 2 theta so here we have the expression of tau theta for a general 2d stress system for any of the cases that we have derived earlier we can put values of the arbitrary values like when we derive for this case of simple tension sigma x will be 0 and tau will be 0 and thus you will get the shear stress on an inclined plane for a simple tension case now after this we shall derive for the sigma theta expression so now let's derive the expression for sigma theta we have summation f y is equal to 0 so the first force we have in y direction is sigma theta then we have sigma y cos theta component in the opposite direction so it will be minus sigma y cos theta and it's the cos theta component then we have a component of tau cos theta that too in the opposite direction minus tau cos theta and the component is sin theta component then we have tau sin theta component also in the negative direction tau sin theta and it will be cos component and then we have sigma x component that too in the negative direction sigma x sin theta sin theta and there are no other forces so this is equal to 0 so now we have sigma theta uh, we have sigma x sin square theta we have sigma y cos square theta and we have 2 tau sin theta cos theta okay so now in place of sin square theta we can write 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 in place of sigma y cos square theta we can write 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 and in place of 2 sin theta cos theta we can write sin 2 theta and instead of minus sign here we have plus sign here because this minus when goes to other side becomes positive so this is positive so after rearranging uh, we can get sigma x by 2 from here and sigma y by 2 from here and we can write sigma x plus sigma y by 2 and taking cos 2 theta by 2 terms common from both of these terms we'll have half of cos 2 theta and we'll have sigma y minus sigma x and we have tau sine 2 theta as it is so this is the expression of sigma theta if anybody have doubts how do we get from here to here these are some formulas we know cos 2 theta is equal to cos square theta minus sine square theta this will become 2 cos square theta minus 1 or 1 minus 2 sine square theta so now we have got the expression for sigma theta and tau theta so these analytical expressions can be used for any 2d stress system just depending upon the values of sigma x sigma y and tau you can obtain a value of sigma theta at a constant theta but there is a warning that 
sigma y and sigma x both are tensile in nature when you fill up the values of sigma and sigma y and tau in these expressions just see for the sign if the sigma x and sigma y are in compressive in nature so you have to put minus sign with their values okay so that is it for now in another lecture we will solve a question to calculate stresses on an inclined plane till then bye